your low levels of vitamin D is because of your chronic consumption of carbohydrates. Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enning, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. Today, I am going to be talking about vitamin D in a very profound way that I have never spoken of. Now, vitamin D is very essential to the body. Vitamin D is made from cholesterol. Yes, we require good amount of cholesterol to make vitamin D. And how does that happen? So in the body, we consume a lot of cholesterol and the body also make cholesterol to make vitamin D. So vitamin D can be made in the presence of sunlight or UV light. In order to have good and adequate vitamin D, we require cholesterol. And cholesterol, in addition to UV light or sunlight, is what is the, are the prerequisites, so to speak, to make vitamin D. So vitamin D is conditionally essential. What that means is that the body is able to make vitamin D on its own, except in situations where we are sick or are going through stress and that is when we are not able to make vitamin d now at that point that's where supplementation may be needed now let's talk about cholesterol products we need good amount of cholesterol in the body in order to make vitamin d so even when you look at cholesterol molecule and you look at the vitamin d molecule you see some similarities and just subtle changes so that is why it is very important that we appreciate the fact that vitamin d a very important hormone is made from cholesterol so we can get by without the consumption of vitamin d because it's sequentially essential but in most people we may need to take vitamin d so now how do we manufacture vitamin d so like i said from cholesterol in addition to uv light then we convert it to vitamin d but the one thing that inhibits the production of vitamin d in the body is insulin yes i'm gonna go at it again one thing one hormone that stops cholesterol from becoming vitamin D is insulin. Chronically high levels of insulin will affect vitamin D synthesis. Not directly, it affects the cholesterol metabolism and absorption and that in turn affects vitamin D production in the body. Now what about vitamin D in the diet? Yes, we can get vitamin D from the diet. We can get it in plants like mushrooms because they see sunlight and we can get it from animal products like the fish and the eggs. But people on standard American diet do not get enough of vitamin D because they are over consuming carbohydrate too much carbohydrate they will have high levels of insulin and that will block the conversion of vitamin D vitamin D and just like the other steroid hormones are fat soluble so they require good amount of fat for it to be absorbed into the bloodstream so when we are over consuming carbohydrates when you're doing the standard American diet the first thing that happens is that we are unable to convert the cholesterol to vitamin d so chronic carbohydrate consumption the standard american diet will be the reason one will have low levels of vitamin d now let's talk about the active form of vitamin d we have two types of vitamin d we have the d2 and the d3 the d2 is from plant sources like the mushrooms and the d3 is from animal sources like the fish or the eggs and both of them are not active and they are activated by hydroxylation in the liver and the kidney so therefore if you are over consuming carbohydrates and you have the fatty liver you have the insulin resistance you affect the liver the liver is responsible for hydroxylation it's responsible for converting the inactive form of vitamin D to the active form. So when you are over consuming the carbohydrates and you are insulin resistant and you have the fatty liver or liver congestion, you affect the synthesis of vitamin D. You have ingested it all right, the cholesterol has made it, but they become pre-hormones. You are unable to make it active by way of hydroxylation. Same way with the kidneys. If the kidneys are not functional, it's also gonna affect your vitamin D levels. So those are all things to think about. So most people with kidney issues, with liver issues, will have issues with their vitamin D synthesis. Now let's also think about vitamin D and vitamin D receptors. Vitamin D is critically important in the body. And for that reason, vitamin D will be seen in every nucleus of every cell in the body. Vitamin D goes beyond just bone health. It helps with immune regulation. It also helps in cell proliferation. It also helps with tyrosine uptake for our thyroid hormones. It also affects our muscular strength and repair. So vitamin D is critically important in the body and it does a lot of things. 
So now let's look at low levels of vitamin D and certain diseases such as depression, muscular pain, immune dysfunction, bone demineralization. The question becomes this, are these diseases because of low levels of vitamin D or they are associated with vitamin D? Because vitamin D is in every cell of the body. If vitamin D is causing the problem, supplementing it with vitamin D is going to help with that. But if vitamin D levels are low because of the disease, then supplementing it is not going to help. So now let's look at vitamin D and the research. In 2014, there was a research that stated that there is no evidence that supplementation of vitamin D improves any of the diseases associated with vitamin D or have been ascribed causal relationship. So therefore, low levels of vitamin D is unlikely to be causal, except in a disease such as rickets. So even supplementing with vitamin D in cases like osteoporosis is irrelevant. It's not needed. The problem is the chronic consumption of carbohydrates and that lead to insulin resistance and high levels of insulin resistance or high levels of insulin affect the conversion of vitamin D. So consuming high carbohydrate diet and low fat diet will be the reason why you have low levels of vitamin D. There are a lot of people who are taking vitamin D, but they are still their levels are low. It's because they are not fixing the root cause. Chronic consumption of carbohydrate is the reason why. So if you are eating a very low carbohydrate diet with high fat, with a lot of physical activity, you are likely to raise your vitamin D levels. Yes, supplementation is fine. So when it comes to my practice, I let people take vitamin D, but on the premise that they are changing their diet. That is why I am a low carb fanatic. That is why I am associated with true green foods because chronic carbohydrate consumption is the reason why most of us have low levels of vitamin D. So if vitamin D is not the cause, supplementing it is not going to solve the problem. As in the case of osteoporosis, it was said in the research in 2014. I know this has been buried in the research. So we need to understand that we can supplement, it's fine, but we need to understand the root cause because supplementation doesn't fix the problem because it's not causing the problem. It's likely associated with the problem. So we need to think about it from that perspective. So whether it is at a point where it's affecting cholesterol synthesis by way of insulin, affecting cholesterol synthesis and causing it to not to turn into vitamin D or at the level where the liver is unable to convert it because you have high levels of insulin causing issues with the liver. You can take the vitamin D, but we need to understand, we need to appreciate that chronic consumption of carbohydrate is the problem. In my next video, I will specifically speak with respect to vitamin D and osteoporosis. And I hope this helps. And this is another pair of health wisdom. Please, if this content resonates, please don't forget to like, don't forget to follow, and don't forget to share. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so that we can keep this conversation going. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.